We're chatting with Tiana Burke from the Georgia Bay Biosphere today. And uh, Tiana, the Mississauga rattlesnake is Ontario's only venomous snake. Now, how can we tell them apart from other snake species? Well, the Mississauga rattlesnake is a shorter, thick-bodied snake. They will grow up to approximately one meter in length, and pattern is a key feature as well. All along the top are blotches that can look like a figure eight or a saddleback. Um, Their head is also diamond-shaped. Of course, they also have a rattle on their tail. Other snakes, such as fox snakes and milk snakes, will mimic a rattling sound. However, these other features, such as shape and their pattern, can help you tell them apart. Uh, Do Mississauga rattlesnakes pose a threat to us? As with any venomous species, there are certain precautions that do need to be taken. Uh, These precautions aren't difficult, and they shouldn't greatly inconvenience anyone's enjoyment of the outdoors. Compared to other venomous species worldwide, they are considered to be one of the less venomous species. Although safety around rattlesnakes should be taken seriously, there is no need to fear them. And what are some of the safety precautions that need to be taken? Be conscious of where you are. Keep your eyes and ears open while you're outside and watch where you step. If you know rattlesnakes are around, it's a good idea to wear closed-toed shoes. And it is especially important to try to not pick them up. If you do come across a Massasauga, we suggest keeping approximately two meters back. They will not bite unless they are threatened, provoked, or stepped on. And what do you do if you do get bitten? Their venom affects your blood's ability to clot, not your nervous system like some other venomous species we've heard of. If you do get bitten by a rattlesnake, it's important to stay calm and get yourself to the Perry Sound Hospital. All right. Thank you very much, Tiana.